everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and in this video, I'm really excited to bring you some new Ever After High dolls, Way to Wonderland, Madeline Hatter, Kitty Cheshire, Lindsay Hearts, and Apple White. So we have all four to review in this one video, so you can see them all together. Um, their packaging is pretty awesome. And I wasn't so sure about their bright colors and crazy patterns, but seeing them in person, they're really fun and fit in with spring with lots of colors. First of all, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for watching my videos. And if you are a new viewer, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I really love collecting Ever After High. Um, so... You can stay up to date on those videos, all my toy and doll reviews and comparison videos. If you hit that subscribe button, then it's completely free as always. I know I get a lot of questions um, about where I get these dolls. And my husband gets them from a combination of Amazon, eBay, and Toots Toys. And these Ever After High dolls in particular he got off of Toots Toys. They had a really good deal for May the 4th um, and uh, I think right now they're having a, a, a deal where if you order $100 or more your shipping is free. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. So I just want to take a really quick moment to look at each of the packages because these Way to Wonderland um, packages are really, really cool. And there's going to be a Netflix movie, I believe. Um, and you can also see Ever After High series on Netflix. And this is Kitty Cheshire, uh, daughter of the Cheshire Cat. And she has her little Cheshire icon down there. Here's a look at the back of her box, which I really like the artwork and the little synopsis. Apple White's box and the back. Here is a quick look at Lizzie's box. I always love the artwork for Ever After High as well. So cute. And finally, Madeline Hatter. And here's the back of her box. Her artwork's super cute. Um, and um, after this, I'll open them up and get back to review them with you guys. Okay, so Apple White came with a black Ever After High stand and comb, which is pretty unusual for Apple White because she usually always, I think, has the gold stand and the gold comb. She also has this really awesome little card where she's the Ace of Diamonds. And it folds out to show a diploma for Apple White for the graduation from Wonderland High School. And on the other side, you can see like this little um, story, just a couple paragraphs. Here's an up close look at Apple White's face, which you'll notice she has the pink eyebrows and a really bright red lipstick is very Here's pretty. Look at her giant hair accessory, which looks like a crown with this bright pink ribbon attached to it. Here's a look at her hair, which right out of the box, her hair is pretty, pretty messy. Um, I do really like the blue and pink streak they added into her hair. And you can see more of that in the front. And you can see her earrings, they're same on both sides, but they're just like swirls and then an apple on the end in a bright pink and color. she has this really big collar piece in plastic that is blue going down into her dress. As you can see, the clothes on these Way Too Wonderland dolls are very bright with cool textures and patterns all the swirling and then in her skirt you can see diamonds as well as some cards and a chess piece an apple all sorts of different things and it has a blue underskirt that pops out at the end Both hands have black gloves on with the big uh, ruffle at the um, the wrist and on her one hand she has a apple ring in and red. And she also has this really cool purse that looks like a big watch. And it also opens up. 
when you open it up, you can see the crazy Wonderland clock. And here's a look at her shoes, which are gold. In the front, they have two diamonds. And then the heel part is really cool. It looks like a little gnome holding up her shoe. Is really cool design on the heel, I think. Here's one more overview of her all together. What are your thoughts on a Apple um, in Way to Wonderland? I really like her. I like the colors and patterns that she has. And Madeline Hatter comes with a black stand and black comb as well. Um, Kitty and Lizzie also have black stands and black combs, so that seems standard for the Way to Wonderland. Here's Maddie's little card, which I made a mistake earlier. I thought the A on this card stood for Ace, when in fact it stands for Apple. And then Maddie has a M and spades. On the one side it has the same diploma. And here's a look at the other side where she has her own riddle to figure out to graduate. Here's an up close look at Maddie's face. With the pink eyeshadow, and I do like her purple lipstick a lot. Here's a look at Maddie's earrings, which are gold, and they look like little clocks on both sides with a bow. See, Maddie's oversized hair piece is a hat. It's like really on the side of her head. It's kind of neat. I kind of wish it was more like right here instead of like completely on its side. But it's a blue hat with pink ribbon. And you have a teal teacup and some cards as well. And here's a look at her hair, which the back, as you can see, is just mostly that minty color and very tight curls. And in the front, there's more of the purple and also pink streaks underneath. Now, admittedly, this is not my favorite hair. It came out really messy. Um, probably a lot of people will want to have to redo it because it's really flat and kind of matted a bit. Here's a look at her black gloves with, she has a hat ring on in hot pink. But she has black gloves on both hands. Here's a look at her clock that she comes with in this mint color. It's very similar to Apple's. The um, top here has a slightly different design though, which is nice. And I really like this color better. And Maddie's clock has the same sort of, the same numbers and design, only the numbers are in different colors. Here's an up close look at her necklace. And then on to her outfit, which she has this really big jacket and has blue fabric with a giant bow in the front and purple with polka dots. And then the skirt on the jacket um, is really cool. Teacups, you can see chess pieces and spades. If you take off or pull the jacket back, you can see the dress underneath, which is this like seafoam green color. And then she has these coral color tights. And then her shoes. Her shoes are like my favorite part about her. They're really cool color and it looks like um, cupcakes and teapots holding up her heel. I think that's really cute. And the frills around the heel. I just think they're awesome. And once again, this is Madeline Hatter from Way to Wonderland. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think of her. Um, I really like her outfit and everything. Mm, the two things I could change is, if I could change them, um, maybe her hair needs a little work. Um, too, a little too flat. And then I wish her hat wasn't completely on the side of her head. I don't mind it like off-center, whimsical look, but it's it's a little too much on the side of her head, in my opinion. Like the other girls, Lizzie also has a black stand and a black so comb. Look at her card that has L in a heart for Lizzie. Also has a diploma. On the other side, she has a riddle that um, 
tells her what her last class is that she needs to graduate from Wonderland High is. Let's look at Lizzie's face. She does have her signature heart over one eye, and she has purple eyebrows this time. And here's a look at her oversized headpiece, which is a gold crown with a heart on it, and then in the middle of the crown there is a flamingo. So cool. Taking a look at her hair, you can see in the front there's two long bangs, and along with red and black there's a little bit of purple in her hair. And she has that interesting curly cue on the top of her head. And then looking at the back, it's primarily all black coming through the two card card collar that I'll show you in a second. Also on each ear, she has a blue chess piece for an earring. And one of the big things that make her outfit really stand out and really awesome is this card collar. As you can see, Queen of Hearts in this pink color. And I was looking, trying to figure out how this attaches, and it's actually a part of her necklace, which is gold with red hearts. And then going down into her outfit, you, this top part here is actually a top part and separated from the skirt. But you got blue and red and pink as well. And then this long skirt part the design in it. You can see hearts and cards because she is the daughter of the Queen of Hearts. It is a shorter blue skirt underneath the longer one. You can see a little bit in the front in the split. But then she has black stockings on. And going to her shoes, which I really love the shoes. The shoes of the Ever After High are always some of my favorites. And it's gold and you can see on the side there's cards with a little pink heart on the toe and the heel is made up of different suits of cards like the heart and the spade and the diamond stacked she together. Has black gloves on with a white ruffle around the wrist and then her little uh, ring is a golden hedgehog which goes in to Wonderland and when they play croquet with um, flamingos and the hedgehog as the Here's ball. A look at her watch, which is in a golden color. It's very pretty and it has a heart in the design. Here, once again, is a look at her all together. Um, make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you think to, of Way to Wonderland Lizzie Hearts. She might be my favorite out of all of them. Um, from like when I got the promotional pictures, she's the one I was excited for most because of the flamingo in her crown as well as the cool card backing collar she has. And she does not disappoint. I love her, her design, and just really cool wonderland details. Here's a look at Kitty Cheshire's stand and cone. Here's Kitty's little card which she has spades on hers. Here's a look at her diploma. Other side with her personal riddle. Let's look at Kitty's face which I am really liking this bright neon yellow color on her. And here's a look at her earrings which I'm not really sure what exactly they're supposed to be. Maybe some sort of cat toy. And a look at her giant ears. Um, they definitely are bigger than her regular ears on her hat. The headband. Take a quick look at her hair, which is her regular lavender hair. With the bright yellow neon color streak through them. And it's up in a ponytail as well. One thing I'm really loving about kitty way to wonderland doll is this awesome fur collar that she has in purple it's so soft and it goes down into her dress which the top look like her stockings normally um the purple with the zigzags and then going into her skirt which is like the most clashing psychedelic out of all of the characters uh it has mushrooms and uh um, clovers, not clovers, oh, I forget what that suit is called, <laughs> but that is her, like, suit of cards, because, um, the other ones have spades and diamonds and hearts, 
and that's hers. And then there's a little uh, Cheshire Cat smile as well in there. It's pink and purple, and then the really, really neon bright yellow. And there's like the second tier is that color with like a rounded edge to Here's it. Look at her gloves, which are black, and then they have um, furry uh, sort of wrist. Almost looks like a little bit like little arm warmers or sweat bands or something, but in the pink and fur texture. And then for her ring, she has a bright yellow neon mushroom and ring. For the first time ever, Kitty Cheshire has a tail in her doll form and it does move. Uh, it does not seem to be removable. As far as I can tell, I didn't want to pull on it too hard, but I did try to tug on it, see if it would come out like um, normally like Monster High do come out really easily. But it was pretty well attached. And her tail has interesting zigzag pattern as well. But I love that she has a tail. That's so cool. And with the extra large ears, she's really bringing Cheshire Cat. Finally, here's a quick look at her shoes, which have these swirly patterns as the heel. And a little bit of pink on the front with um, a swirly pattern as well. Pretty simple, but very cool as well. And here's a look at her little watch that she has. It's black and you can see a mushroom on there. It's a pretty cool design as and well. Another overview look at Kitty Cheshire Way to Wonderland doll. I think out of all of them, she is the most crazy color pattern um, out of all of them. With the, the neon, the neon varies bright. Um, so yeah, remember to leave a comment down below telling me what you think of Kitty. I actually really, really like her. I like that lavender and neon color mixed together. Um, I think that's kind of a cool color combination as well. I like, I like the little mushrooms and, oh, there's a butterfly even I just see now. Um, yeah, I think she's really, really cool. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this unboxing and review of Ever After High Way to Wonderland uh, doll characters. We've got Maddie, Apple, Lizzie, and Kitty. Um, which one was your favorite? What do you think about the Way to Wonderland line? Are you a fan of it or is it the clothes and colors too clashing for you? Um, personally, I was kind of on the fence about it, but after seeing them up close, I really do like them and their details and even the crazy colors, um, are kind of nice for spring. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts and if you see a red subscribe button, hit it and also give this video a thumbs up, like it, and share it with your friends. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!